Hello and welcome to this video tutorial from computergarga.com. Now in this video I'm going to show you how to export a selected range from the worksheet into a PDF. So if you've tried exporting to PDF before, a print into PDF, save into PDF, whatever you wish to call it, you'll know that when you try to save as PDF it saves the active sheet by default. So if I selected a range like this, it would only export, or sorry, it would export the whole of this Bradford sheet into, well, as a PDF. So what I'm going to do is let's imagine that I only want to um, export this range here, as an example. So I don't want this profit column to show, I just want like income expenses, everything apart from this column. I would select the range as so. Now I'm going to perform this action by going through the save as dialog. I'll just save this on my desktop. I'll call it selected range. Oops. And I'm going to export it as a PDF. So I'm going to use this functionality here to save as PDF. Now you may perform this action in a slightly different way if you're using something like Qt PDF or some other kind of third party tool maybe but this is the approach I'm going to take and a very important step here let me choose that open after publishing so we can see the result is this options button if I click that options button I can see that it's going to print the active sheet or save the active sheet so even though I have selected a specific range it will um, export the whole sheet. Now I have an option for entire workbook there, I might want all six sheets of this workbook. Or, well I really want selection. I'm going to click OK. I'm going to perform the save. That should be done and should open up when it's done. Here we go. Here we go. And here we have it. We have a Bradford file. Notice it is printed there, just one page, and without the profit. So we have managed to export a selected range uh, from an Excel sheet into PDF. I hope you find that tutorial useful. Please check out some of the other uh, videos on our YouTube channel and our other tutorials at computergaga.com.